Welcome to Gel Printing July. So today I want to play with um, a doily on my um, gel plate. Let me get it. So here's this uh, beautiful doily. It's uh, crocheted and uh, I got it on a flea market here. Uh, it was maybe 50 euro cents or maybe one euro. And look how beautiful it's made. It's crocheted and it's really gorgeous. And um, the beautiful thing about uh, textile and, and uh, something crocheted like this is that uh, it is not smooth like a stencil, but it has also it's this, this texture of the, of the fiber itself and of the crocheted pattern. So I have worked with uh, this type of doilies before in other types of work, but not on my gel plate. So I'm really excited to see <laughs> what that will look like. And I thought I um, had discovered this myself. Well, I, I did, but uh, I also found out that uh, some other people in my uh, network also used um, doilies on their gel plate. So uh, it's kind of uh, serendipitous or um, synchronicus. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to say that, but it's interesting how, how sometimes ideas can just pop up, pop up, um, yeah, apparently at the same time. So, um, but I haven't seen it on a video. Perhaps there are lots of videos on YouTube here <laughs> who are doing this too. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I want to try this out for myself and um, I'm just going to use I'm not sure, one or two paints. Let's just start with one type of paint. I'm going to use one of my favorites, which is uh, Blick Matte Acrylics, Purple Matter. And I'm not really sure if I should use this doily dry or if I should dampen it maybe, but maybe I will do lots and lots of experiments. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use it dry. We'll just see if I can get some of that gorgeous texture. I am adding a bit more paint than uh, I usually do because maybe it will all be absorbed into the doily right away. Let's just see. Alright, let's see. I will have to see how I can add this or place it on my gel plate without uh, dragging it through the paint. Well, oh, there we go. <laughs> I already moved it. Oh well. I'm really curious to see. <laughs> what this looks like beneath my doily. I'm just wondering if I want to add a little bit of water just at the outside. Oh, no, look at this. <laughs> Ooh. Let me add a bit more. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> That happens. It doesn't have to be a, a perfect uh, print anyway. I like those little accidents. I, I prefer that uh, over it being just one, yeah, how do you say it? One perfect kind of um, rendition of, of this doily. Anyway, I hope I'm making sense. Look at this. <laughs> oh, wow, this is amazing. Yeah, not much of the paint came off, but it's just enough to get all that patterns here. Wow, that's really awesome. So I will definitely uh, <laughs> play with this some more. 
look at this. For now I'm going to uh, let this dry and then uh, just pull the print uh, with just only this color and uh, see how it turns out. I'm really excited about it. Okay, I think this is dry, so uh, let's uh, prepare everything so uh, we can uh, transfer it to my paper. Okay, I'll let this dry and then uh, I'll come back to pull the print. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, wow. <laughs> You can really, really see the texture of the doily here, how it is crocheted. It almost looks like a photograph or something. So yeah, I love how this turned out. I'm definitely going to uh, do more of these. Uh, yeah, this is, this is fantastic. So yeah, that's it for my practice for today. I'm really stoked about how this turned out. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely um, suggest you that you try this out for yourself also, because it's really amazing this. Um, I hope you liked watching this video. If you did, please uh, give it a thumbs up. That will uh, help me. Um, if you'd like to share your uh, work, your gel prints or any other type of artistic and creative work for that matter, uh, you're very welcome to uh, do that in my Facebook group. I'd love to see it. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about gel printing, but also about uh, making portraits, uh, drawing, painting, I do a lot uh, of that every month on my Patreon uh, side. I also made a um, gel printing fundamentals video series. So if you want to learn more about gel printing, check that out. And um, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with a new video.